Hi all, welcome back. Uh, in this video we're just going to set out the navigation bar. Um, we're just going to concentrate on the HTML uh, side of things here so we can get um, familiar with that. So I'm going to get rid of this and in here I'm going to comment the code by pressing control and forward slash and then putting in menu section um, just below that I'm going to initiate a tag called nav which is HTML5 onwards um, and within this tag you can see all, the, all elements have an opening tag and a closing tag um, you're probably familiar with basics of HTML in that respect um, but within here I'm going to give it an ID of nav as well and then I am going to put actually another comment in here and I'm going to say my bar menu button because this is where I'm going to put it later on uh, and down here I'm going to put uh, main menu uh, I'm only putting this many comments in because um, you may want to refer back to this later in um, uh, in the code that will be available to download from a GitHub repository, which is going to be linked below, um, and hopefully these will act as reminders of what everything is and where everything is. But uh, so main menu, we're going to create an unordered list like that tab or if we control Z and then do that um, we can do ul hashtag main menu tab and we can give it an ID automatically um, that's Emmet doing its uh, doing its thing um, then we need to create some list items within that uh, list container uh, so we're going to do list item. We're going to give them all a class of menu item. And we're going to create four tab. And within each of these, if I hold control and click into each of these, I'm going to do a tab. Now let's move this over so you can see properly. And actually in each of these I'm going to put a hashtag as a sort of placeholder um, let's explain this the ID if you don't know what an ID is and the difference between ID and class ID is supposed to be a unique name that you can reference via your CSS and class as shown here can be um, associated with multiple um, elements usually of the same type um, uh, yeah, so we'll get on to that a bit. So the inside this list item container uh, is an anchor tag, which is basically a link. And now we can give this link some text to see. Um, you'll see what this does in a second. Team and contact. If we save, there you go. Remember this is zoomed in quite a bit. So if we hover over it at the bottom of the screen you can see it says index.html hashtag because that's where it's uh, linked to. If we change this to https www.google.com and save that and hover over it you'll see it says Google if we press it. It goes to Google so that's how they work but you may be wondering well why do we need links if this is a one page website um, you can actually put IDs in here instead of links so you can jump to uh, a section with an ID uh, which we will be doing in a little while so um, I am going to put in 
the mobile menu button as well. So I'm going to create a div, give it a class of hamburger container and an ID of hamburger container. Um, and in here I am going to create another div which is going to act as a button so I'm just going to call it hamburger and again I'm going to give it a class and an ID of hamburger and within there I'm going to create three spans which are going to be uh, the lines so if you have a look up here you can see that's a hamburger menu it's got three lines there I don't know if you can see that it's probably a bit small but um, I'm sure you've all seen a hamburger menu and why they're called hamburgers because it's got a top part of the bun, bottom part of the bun, the filling looks like a hamburger so that's going to be our button so we've created um, our links essentially uh, and a container if we right click over here and inspect and go down to nav you'll see that we've got a nav item there uh, that's the element it's all uh, wrapped in and we've got an ordered list there which is inside the nav and within there you've got the list items and within there you've got the actual links themselves pretty standard stuff really uh, in the next one we're going to be styling this up so it doesn't look so horrendous um, so I will see you in that one